How y'all doing? This is the Ultra Star Triple Three. Yes, I got around to making another video. I've just been busy lately, um, doing a lot of shit, you know. Um, <laughs> I ain't made a video like this specifically for you brothers, you know, besides uh, me calling somebody out and doing a um, small tutorial video, but just straight talking like this, you know. Um, it's been a while. It's been a while. But, um, shit, there's a lot, so much I want to cover. Um, I don't even know where to start at, so I'm going to just roll with it. Fuck it, you know. And y'all out there, you know, that don't like me, that's fine, you know. But you know, when you pull on one of my videos, I'm going to be kicking some real shit. I'm going to talk about some shit other niggas ain't talking about. And so even some of the goddamn white folks they ain't talking about, all right? So, you know, you roll with it, you roll with it. If not, then you can go to another video or whatever. That's cool with me, because I'm going to always be me, you know. But anyway, to try to pick up where I left off at a couple years ago, before 2012, December uh, 21st or December 31st, 2012 or whatever, I used to talk about Nibiru a whole lot and um, a lot of people say Nibiru was fake uh, it's just some mythology or whatever you know and the, the time that came and passed nothing happened or what have you um, a lot has happened you know that the news hasn't really covered or whatever you know they touched up on bit, bits and pieces but I mean There's still unexplainable things as far as, you know, fish dying and birds dropping out of the sky and stuff like that, you know. Uh, that you can't, you know, ignore. And, and um, a lot of other things. Just the global phenomena, you know. Um, I'm not going to say Nibiru is fake or it don't exist. Because in the Sumerian text, uh, which is totally accurate. Some people say Sumerian text fake, Zachariah stitching is a fake or whatever, that kind of stuff. But they do not tell you a lot of things that's in the Sumerian text that ain't no that ain't nowhere else. Okay? How do we uh get the months, the thirty days in a month, how months have been broken down, okay, to thirty days or so, you know, because one day uh, I'm going to say one month is like one day on the planet Nibiru. But you don't hear them talk about that shit. Okay? You don't hear them talk about a lot of things because they don't know a lot. They don't. Nobody really says, okay, how do we get the months? How do we get the days? Etc. Etc. They don't go off into talking about how the Anunnaki, which have long lifespans, of course. If you have a long lifespan, your sleeping habits are going to be a little different. Talks about how they, you know, when they got here, they had a hard time adjusting because the damn days are so short. Okay? And any uh, scientist or astronomer will tell you, you know, on different planets, the days are different. You know, one year is 365 days here, but one year might be, you know, 3,000 years. Or uh, one day might be 3,000 years. You know, they don't even go off into that. They don't even talk about the damn church folks and all of that. This whole system that we live by, all right, that you and I live by, you know, the months and the days of the year, all of that comes straight from the Anunnaki, okay? But I'm going to get to that in a little bit. I want to talk about this Nibiru, okay? Which you can't, you know, dispute that there's a lot of things that didn't happen, you know. Weather changes and all of that. Them spraying shit all up in the sky, you know, the, with the weather changing and all of that. Trying to cover up something. What? She's trying to cover up. Nobody's talking about that. Nobody really want to dig into that shit. If they dig into it, they don't want to say, okay, 
they trying to cover up uh, Nibiru or something like that. But I don't want to talk about that. Neither do they really want to talk about Nelson Mandela. May he rest in peace. Nelson Mandela been died, okay, since early last year, around about this time. But the funeral was held, you know, later on, much, much down the line in South Africa. All right? And if you listen, if you pull it up, pull up the video and you listen carefully, all right, with what people get, when, they, when people get up on that microphone and start talking, they send in messages, subliminal messages, okay? You pay, you pay attention to that video. I'm not going to even talk that much about it. But if, if Marduk has actually returned, okay, to the planet Earth, then I say welcome home. Welcome home, all right? But anyway, um, lots and lots of shit has happened. Lots and lots of shit, you know. Um... You know, with with with, with uh, the financial with the, the financial markets and all of that, even the damn gas prices then went and then soared back up. You know, um, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things going on. That, you know, a lot of people um, struggling. You know, I'm I'm seeing this shit when I go to the supermarkets and the gas stations and all of that. Now, you know, I'm quick to, quick to say, fuck them white folks. Y'all niggas know me, okay? I say, fuck you white folks, point blank. But when I, you know, several times I went to the goddamn gas station to put gas in my car, and I see some white folks scraping up chains to put gas in their car. You know, standing outside uh, in, in front of the goddamn store in the hood, in the hood, panhandling, asking for some money. You know, and that's a shocker to me because it's, 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 it lets you know how, how bad things are for me anyway, you know. Um, you know, I said it before, you know, if I see somebody that needs some help, I don't care what color you are, I'm going to help you out. You know, because fuck, if it was me, I want somebody to help me out, you know, but, um, it's fucking crazy. It's, it's, it's real fucking crazy uh, how drastic things have changed, you know. Um, this white chick um, pulled out a bunch of fucking quarters, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put gas in my car to go see my old lady and give me some pussy, okay. And, um, you know, I ain't trying to, you know be wasting all that time and shit like that. I got to drive like, you know, a half hour to get to that pussy, you know. So she had already showered up and everything. So they come and get it, daddy. Oh, yes, indeed, baby. I'm coming to get in that ass. So I mean, when I go to the gas station, I ain't trying to, you know, no hold up. So I went out the way, okay, to go, uh, to go to the goddamn gas station that wasn't cheap, okay. Any gas station that's near the interstate, you know, that is going the price gonna be higher because people that's traveling don't want to go away out of the way to get no goddamn gas, okay? So I went out of the way to this gas station to get some gas. This white lady got in front of me, was in front of me, pulled out a bunch of fucking quarters, okay? Old older white chick. Started counting and all of that. And he had this other motherfucker, this white boy. Uh, standing up there talking, running his mouth to the cashier. The cashier was black and she was fine as hell. I guess he was trying to get him some pussy or whatever. And uh, I come up in there and she get in front of me. She counting all this change and shit. And, uh, you know, holding up the line. So I reached in my pocket and I put down a 20. I said, I'll pay for this lady gas right here, you know. And the white chick, she, you know, she's the older white chick, so you know she was, you know, uh, kind of prejudiced back in the day and shit, you know. So um, she said, oh, that's okay, I got it. And the cashier was, you know, trying to say, ma'am, she's paying for your gas, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But to make a long story short, 
I ended up paying for a gas, and I let her keep the fucking change. Well, I told the cashier to keep the change, okay? Whatever left over, because she, the white lady said, oh, I, I, I just need to put uh, a little bit in. I want to keep it full, keep the gas. I expect to hear some shit like that from a crackhead in the goddamn hood. Oh, I need to, uh, I'm just putting a few, few dollars in to keep it full or whatever. No, your ass need gas to get where you got to go. That's what you can afford at that time, you know? But like I said, the cash, the cashier, she was amazed like a mother, like, oh, that is so sweet of you and all this here. This white boy that's standing up there, you know, that had the opportunity to help this white lady out, and you fucking did, all right? But anyway, make a long story short, times are tough right now. That's why I, I, I'm i pissed off at some of you niggas, because I was giving away, giving away some fucking Bitcoin. And only one goddamn person, okay, posted their address, the correct address anyway, to receive the goddamn Bitcoin. Alright? I don't know what's wrong with some of you niggas, but, you know, if you don't know what it is, you go look at one of my other videos. I explained what it was, briefly anyway, to get you started. Okay? But, um, shit. A lot, a lot, a lot has been going on. Um, what else? I want to cover some, some of the, um, uh, Sumerian texts in the Anunnaki also, because, you know, a lot of people, I have been watching these debates and shit, um, within the conscious community. And a lot of people are, uh, are, are, are clueless. Clueless are just too fucking stubborn to see shit for what it fucking really is. That's why I keep hitting, I keep hitting hard on that DNA. Alright? And I don't even have to really hit that hard on DNA. But DNA, you can't fucking dispute. I have said it many times. I carry the RH negative blood type. Alright? RH negative. I can't say it enough. But some niggas still don't hear or don't understand. And go around calling themselves gods. I'm a god. If I don't fucking consider myself to be one, and I have the RH negative blood type, I'm not going to just sit back and let some other niggas say he a, he a god. When he has the RH positive blood type. The RH rhesus monkey. That's what it stands for. Alright. And you know. A lot of people make the argument. Doctors and shit. Okay. Because it's not really discussed. You know. It, it's, it's so fucking controversial. That doctors say. We don't know where it comes from. We don't know. It, they call it a disease, okay? <laughs> they call it a motherfucking disease. That's, I think that's the craziest shit I've ever heard in my life. Now, I heard a lot of dumb shit, all right? To break this shit down to you brothers, okay? I already talked about RH negative, RH positive, the differences, okay? Let me break it down briefly. Back in the old days, all right, when the Anunnaki came here, you, there's no dispute. They left their motherfucking footprint here, permanently, all right, with us and with Negroes like me. At one time, RH negative blood type dominated the whole fucking earth, all right. In the Sumerian text, it clearly states that we were genetically engineered, genetically altered. You and I both, but not so much as me, all right? Because I still carry the RH negative, which is one, the oldest blood type, okay? Um, if you know a little bit, you know, uh, about blood types, you know all blood types don't mix, okay? And there's only one goddamn blood type that mixes 
that's compatible with all, both positive and negative. It's the O negative blood type, okay? O negative. But doctors say, oh, it's a disease. How the fuck a disease is compatible with all the rest of the goddamn blood types? That's the craziest shit I ever heard, like I said. Okay, so which meant that Nahur said, okay, Inky's half-sister was R-H, uh, O-negative. She was R-H-negative, O-negative blood type to even carry uh, such a child, okay, with the rhesus monkey gene. All right, because they spliced genes, they took some of their DNA, combined it with the motherfucking monkey, okay? The ape. In order to do that, there has to be a blood type that is compatible with both. And that's the O, all right? The O negative blood type. So with that bullshit about, oh, it's a disease, I think they should be locked up in a fucking mental institution. Okay, that's that's a and that's an insult to the human intelligence. To say the only blood type that is compatible, and if you don't believe me, go to a goddamn blood bank. The first type of blood that they want is the O negative because it's compatible with all the rest of the blood types. Okay. Anyway, the Anunnaki made they mark here. All right. I don't hear about in these debates how everything came to be this system. White folks ain't put this whole goddamn system together from scratch, all right? Neither did the fucking reptilians that I talked about. Them ugly, canker, sore face motherfuckers, okay? They've been here longer, probably longer than us, okay? Because dinosaurs existed a long time ago. They existed during that dinosaur era. But, um, whatever the fuck wiped them out, I'm glad it did. Almost all of them. Only the intelligent ones went underground. And I'm talking about before the goddamn flood. Long before that. We talking about Alalu. Or when I say Alalu, the first true Anunnaki that came here long before Inky and them did. Okay, he was, escaped the planet Nebru because they he had a hit out on him. Came here and said, I want the I found some gold. That's where that came from. But when he left, he took the best ship. This is all in the Sumerian text, the lost book of Inky. Okay? Because there was Anunnaki that came before him. But they never made it past the asteroid belt, which they called the hammer bracelet in the uh, Sumerian text. Mysteriously, anyway, they died. Alalu, Alalu was the one that, that made it through. Took the best fucking ship. He didn't take no chances. He was by himself. That's why I say... Much respect to him because to cross a motherfucking solar system by yourself, that's not easy. That is not easy. You're doing everything by yourself. He did it. He pulled it off. But of course, I believe he fucking panicked when he got here. Because it states that he had to blast through some of the rocks, the asteroids. To make it to planet Earth, which you I know even heard anybody else say what I'm about to say. In the midst, of, which makes more sense, okay, than uh, you know, a, 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 a comet hit and wiped out the dinosaurs. When Alalu came, he wasn't taking no shit, okay. When you escaping from somebody, when you on a run, and you niggas know what I'm talking about, when you on a run. In your mind, you kind of, you know, it's a possibility that whoever you're on the run from might be at the damn destination where you're going. So what you going to do? Well, you know what? If you're panicking, you're going to blow every motherfucking thing up to make sure don't nothing exists before you come there. You're going to scope out the place. 
in a panic, I believe he fired, of course, the, the ship was equipped with nukes. He fired off a big fucking nuke, okay? Not only blast through the goddamn asteroids, but hit the earth and wiped out the damn dinosaurs. All right? Completely. The only thing that fucking survived that was reptilian, could have survived, was one that, reptiles that went in the water, and the ones that bipedal, that walk like us on two feet, went underground. Okay? That's why people, fishermen, are still finding uh, the, the, the sea monsters and shit, uh, dinosaur-like creatures, fucking Loch Ness monsters and shit, okay? Still in the water, it still exists because they went in the fucking water. And you know, in the water, there's food, okay? If you're in the water, you can survive, you know? Um... In the lost book of Inky, the Sumerian text, Alalu, when he gets here, okay, he discovers the air is breathable. He can breathe. If he already knew, if he didn't fire anything, if nothing hit, then he should have already known that the air was fit enough to breathe because he saw life around. Which meant that there probably wasn't nothing crawling on the fucking surface of the earth at that time when the dust settled and all of that shit. Which, why, which is why he's surprised to find a fucking snake, a big ass snake near the lake where he went to go drink some water. And blew the goddamn snake's head off. Okay? With the gun. It's all in there, but you don't really hear people talk about that. Alright? in the conscious community, the black conscious community, it makes more fucking sense. Okay? Because when something don't make sense, it's probably not fucking true. I know truth is stranger than fiction. But when there's a book that's laid out and corresponding with a timeline, then I think that's, that's when people should get on board and just research. I necessarily believe it, just research and if, if, it, if it fits, then you roll with that. You roll with it. Because all books, all Bibles, and there's several different Bibles. You got Calvin's Bible, you got the Torah, and all of that, come from the Sumerian text. The original. There's, there's nothing more original than the Sumerian text. And a lot of people hate it because... It's true. It is fucking true. All right. Um, let me break this shit down one time for people that don't really understand. I hear a lot of people talk about the Illuminati. The Illuminati is fake and wannabes. Okay, even the so-called real ones. Because they went, before there was even such a fucking thing as a mason of Illuminati, there was Anunnaki. Okay? Anunnaki. There was Sumerians. There was Egyptians. But see, the people that started, one of the main founders of the secret societies, Adam, Adam Westhoff or whatever, a white motherfucker, okay? He might have started Illuminati for white folks. But black folks, it was something that you were born in. Okay? Let me give you an example. Three. What significance does the number three have? Think about that for a moment. What significance does the number three have? The number three was always important to Negroes like me. Okay? Always. It's like I said, it's something that you fucking born in. It ain't something that you just say, hey, I'm inspired 
I want to uh, be a part of this or whatever. No, that's not how it fucking work. It's not. White folks go known for stealing history and shit. These motherfuckers don't really have a history on their own. And they uh, piggybacking off our goddamn history. Okay? The, human, uh, the Illuminati is fake. That queen face bitch, the queen, Elizabeth, or whatever, all them motherfuckers are fake, okay? Fake. The Illuminati never started. And will never finish anything, okay? They are like motherfucking reptilians that I talked about. The canker, sore face, ugly motherfuckers, okay? That put white folks in power to rule over the whole fucking earth as a proxy, alright? They don't build shit. They improve it. They, they piggyback off of it, alright? Because if they didn't need black folks, I'm going to tell you something. If we were useless, if we had no um, significance in the earth, we wouldn't be here. We would have been wiped out. All black people. All of us. And I'm going to get to that also. We are the original motherfuckers on the earth. Like it or not. Now I'm talking to you goddamn white folks, okay? Like it or fucking not. And when people, it's an insult to me when people say, the white folks, oh, the Anunnaki were not black. Bitch, is you sick? You got to be out of your fucking mind to even say the Anunnaki is it's not black. Let's run this shit down. Science already proven. The white scholars already say the first, the oldest body, the first is 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 the Negro in, in Africa. Okay? Some say in Mexico. Long before fucking the, the Indians, as we know. Okay? They were black folks. They were black folks. In black folks come the Indians come from black folks. See when Columbus, and this shit already came out, study out of Cambridge University, that Columbus was black, okay? Blew my fucking mind. When he came over here, the best way to describe the black folks that were here already was Indians. Think about it. Back in that time, India, in, Indians come from India, okay? And what do Indians look like today? They look the same today as they did a long time ago. They have the same fucking color as me, basically. Some of them look mulatto, but they are motherfucking black. They come from uh, the, the, the Ethiopians, okay, in Africa. they descendants of, of different tribes, et cetera, et cetera. They get all that culture from straight out of Africa. So when Columbus brought his ass over here, he said, these look like Indians. The Indians would, uh, would, would uh, flourish back in India, just like there's billions of them today. So if there was billions today, there was millions a couple hundred years ago. So when he came over, say, okay, these look like Indians over here. Because like I said, Indians come from India. It was the Native American Indian as we know today. It's just a mixture of black and Mongolian and Asian. That's that's it. That's it. A lot of them have that Asian, the Asian features and everything, and they cross. They they did not exist until they crossed the fuck motherfucking Barren Strait. Okay. The first president in Mexico was black. Oh yeah, that's a known fact. So black folks, we always been here. Always. We the oldest people. There's no part of the earth that has not been inhabited by black folks. Okay? And I, I don't understand why a lot of white folks just don't fucking get that. 
I, I don't get it. Because it's one thing to be prejudiced against black folks. But it's another to be prejudiced against the motherfucking facts that's in your face. And one of them is looking at you right now. Let me get back to this number three. The number three has importance, okay? I'm going to just tell you what I know about it, briefly. It's not a coincidence that um, some of the people in history always revolve around threes. Even fucking Tesla, okay? Nikola Tesla. Um, if we go back to uh, Egypt. The pyramids. Those three pyramids that um, align with the star system. Of course, we know that, that, that the whole Egyptian um, culture was started by the son of Enki, Marduk. Okay? Um, he's responsible for all of that. Um, goes down to the lineage of uh, Khufu and, and, and in, in hotel. Those, those are the bloodlines. Those are the true blood. That's what really kind of started the whole kingship thing or whatever. It started in Samaria also, but it didn't really take off like, in, uh, like it did in, in Egypt. Okay, because Marduk, and this this is all in the Sumerian text also, Lost Book of Inky. Marduk um, introduced science and, and, and uh, different languages and stuff like that. And mathematics, you know. Um, those three pyramids represent something. I don't know exactly entirely. I, I don't know. But I pay attention to the number three. Now I do. At, at one time I did. Okay. Um, it's not a coincidence that those pyramids are lined up like the way they are and have been that way for a long time. Three is something that follows you for most people. It, it, it's, it's something you can't get away from. It's like a system that you've locked in, okay? Um, when I see something that's, you know, uh, that revolves around three, automatically what pops in my head is some old shit, okay? Some, something that goes way, way back. It's like a state of mind, okay? And let me give you some more examples. You know, three is everywhere. This is very important, even in your sports. Baseball. You get three strikes, and you out. Okay. Three strikes, and you're out. And the Bible. Adam. Died at what 930, 36, 930 years or whatever. These are numbers that's all throughout the Bibles. Christ died at the age of 33. Christ didn't start his ministry until uh, age 30. Uh, Christ died and arose on the third day. Uh, Christ died within the ninth hour. Three times three is nine. Okay, there's many, many things uh, that, that, that's in reference to three. You know, so many things I can't explain. I'm, look, we just talk about everyday life. How many months are there in a year? Twelve. Three times four is twelve. The average month is how many, what, three? Thirty days? Thirty days. Okay? 
it can go on and on and on. All right? Me, myself, my birthday is May 13th. Okay? My mom's birthday is also in May. My father's birthday is also in May. That's the three of us in May alone. And how many characters, how many letters does May have? Three. Three characters. Okay? Like I said, it's something that you you can't get away from for most people. You know, and um, that's all I can say about it, point blank. But when people, these fake motherfuckers that say, you know, or try to put this, put themselves off and say, I'm the, I'm the Illuminati or this is the Illuminati exercise. These motherfuckers are fake, okay? Fake. And a lot of people, it's, it's just a good story for a lot of people that write books and shit. It's a label that they put on them. Illuminati. Okay? But the real Illuminati is in circles of threes, all right? Like I said, how many day, how many days are within a year? 365 days, all right? 365. This planet Earth is what number from the sun? It's the third rock from the sun, the third planet from the sun. Okay, and like I said, I can keep going on and on. But the number, the significance of the number three and people that's in that circle don't have shit to do with the Illuminati what people are talking about today. I can tell you that. Ain't got shit to do with them. Illuminati take it back off of the history of original people of this earth. The, the architects, the founders, the innovators. That's what they do. They buy up shit. You know, text. They steal. And they kill. These are motherfucking pirates, okay? That's all the fuck they are. They are not associated with the true people. They not. I don't want to hear about that bullshit about the RH negative blood type with them because... A lot of them, some of them do have RH negative blood type, but they're not black. You got white folks that have it also. Of course they have it. But guess, you, you know where it's got to come from. If, like I said, just broke it down. Now her said, had to be O negative. Had to be to carry the, 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 uh, the fetus. That was created. The hybrid had uh, Neanderthal, but not Neanderthal, uh, half ape, half human. Okay? Because the Anunnaki, they're not that much different from us. And there's a lot of other beings that's not much different from us also, the people of this earth. Because a human, a human being is a human being. You know, and as long as the genetics match up, you can reproduce. You know, um, there's beings that came here and, you know, had sex with women and left and come back every once in a while. And I ain't even talking about the Anunnaki. But of course, some of them were white, some of them were black. But most of them, mostly they black. See, white folks try to trick you niggas, okay? They'll be too happy to lay claim that, hey, the honor knock you were white. They'll be too fucking happy. They lay, they lay claim for shit that, that don't even belong to them. Give you an example. Rock and roll was started by a black man. Started by Little Richard, okay? That's the innovator, the fucking architect, no doubt about it. All right? The white motherfuckers, Pat Boone and uh, Elvis Presley, took credit for a lot of the shit. Rock and roll was started by Little Richard, okay? Point blank. 
And it's the same thing with our history. Our history belongs to us, but of course, they steal it. But they can only go so far with it because they have, they know that they'll be going too far with it by saying that the Anunnaki were white. Of course, you do know, realize that there are other beings that watch us, that know the true fucking history and know exactly what the hell I'm talking about with the true history. If white folks cross that line, now I ain't talking about the average white folks, I'm talking about the motherfuckers in the Pentagon. I'm talking about the motherfuckers, the, 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 the Rupert Murdoch and all, all them motherfuckers. Anybody that create propaganda today that's a part of that system, that white elite system, they know. They can only go so far with that shit. Okay? Because they will have to come up with something to prove that the Anunnaki were white. But there's nothing in the Sumerian text about the Anunnaki being white, except for Zedra, which is nor in the Bible. Okay? And um, Zedra came from Inky. Allegedly came from Inky. Which we all know, been proven genetically, a black couple can have a white baby. That's true. You know, it could be albino, it could be white. But um, the baby is only white in skin color. Only white skin color, but act, that have the same attributes as mother and father. Okay? As far as personality and things like that. The white folks, they would love to lay claim to the, the, the legacy and the history of the Anunnaki, which they really can't. It, won't, it, won't, it wouldn't fit in. The, the motherfuckers up in uh, England. The, the, what they call them, the, uh, the royal family. Ain't shit royal about them. Nothing. Ain't nothing. You are royal, more royal than they are. What you don't fucking know? Or you think I'm just spewing out some shit? Say, oh, nigga, you don't know what you're talking about, especially the white folks. Oh, yeah. Let me run it down to you. Okay. Let me tell you what royalty is. Royalty is not necessarily a status, but it's what you do. And it's how you have an influence on cultures, people. And I would like to know, I would like somebody to tell me who has more influence on pop culture hip hop, music, just music period, and black folks. We dominate the music industry. Well, we did at one time anyway. Fuck, the hip hop became white now. But let me break it down to you. With the royalty. The best musicians, the best actors, black, 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 more fucking music, more rap music has been sold since the beginning than any other music out there and to this very day. White folks can't lay claim to no fucking rap music. They didn't create it. But guess what? If you niggas uh, let them, they will write in the fucking history books when we're long gone. Rap music was created by white people. If you say Michael Jackson is white. If you say Michael Jordan is white. That's why you better start recording shit and, and, and for your for, for your kids 
and all that set the motherfucking record straight. We're in the digital age. We're in the information age. So you need to be documenting a lot of this shit because there will become a time period where white folks are going to try to lay claim on the history of today. The, the, today, what's going on today. Because if there's no pictures around or anything like that, they can make up shit. They can make up any fucking thing that they want. But let, let me go back to this whole royalty thing. We don't create music instruments. We don't. We don't create the digital and, and, and instruments or anything like that. It's the white folks and it's the Japanese. Okay? Some of y'all familiar with the Rolling Corporation and all of that. You know, you niggas know what a fucking 808 is. If you don't, you need to know. You need to fucking know. Because that's where it's that's where it kind of really started. Okay? With the whole pop music. First of all, before there was even fucking pop music, there was hip hop. There was, there was electro. Dance music. Then came the hip hop. Then came the rest of the other stuff. Techno and all of that. Black people, we started that shit. We started it. We own it. We started it. White man can't own, he can't take credit for that shit. Okay? And a lot of the shit that we started, we started it out of fucking pain and desperation. Try to do something. Try to build something. Build something from, from nothing. Okay? Make something from nothing because guess what? The shit that, that, that we built, we did it on our fucking own. Nobody gave us shit to do it. Oh, white folks, how, how a fucking white person gonna teach a black man how to fucking rap? How to, how to, how to program a goddamn drum machine? Okay? Even the motherfuckers that create them, that create the goddamn, I'm gonna say, Pro, put it put it together, cause a lot of the shit, the technology and shit, is pirated. Okay, it just comes from some alien technology that that the government they do a wholesale behind closed doors and motherfuckers with deep pockets go in there and start snatching up shit, bring it to a goddamn lab, reverse engineer it and put it on the market. Know it just enough to write a fucking manual about it. Put it up for sale. But anyway, we we built a whole fucking culture. The whole hip hop thing, the whole R and B and soul. That's something that you feel. White folks don't feel that shit. Okay, they don't. That's, at one time, they didn't even fucking understand rap music. They didn't even let their kids listen to rap music. All rock and roll. Or anything that was associated with black folks. Okay? That's something that you feel. And you have to feel that to create it. To effectively create it. Regardless if it's out of pleasure or out of pain. Think about all the fucking uh, artists, the black artists, that created some of the most beautiful music out of pain, out of desperation, come from broken homes, struggle with drugs, all that kind of shit. So if you if, if we can create something out of pain, imagine what the fuck we can do if we are, are, are flourishing, if we have sovereignty like a lot of the rest of the nations. We can build shit on our own. Effectively. 
without the white man. But see, when the Japanese, when they build their instruments, they build them out of sovereignty. They don't have the white man breathing down their goddamn neck. They don't have to be uh, discriminated against. If, when they compete, they competing against their own. Not against the goddamn white man. Period. But the thing about it, we have done a whole lot. You don't even, a lot of niggas, you, 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 don't, you don't see it. You don't understand it. You don't fucking realize it. You don't. You do not. If it wasn't for the black man, the goddamn 808, the TR, rolling TR 808 would not be what it is today. All right? These goddamn white folks, they spending t three times as much for the goddamn drum machine. It was only about $900 when it came out. But they spending three, four thousand, five thousand dollars for it. Same thing for the TB303. Had no fucking interest in it at one time. The black man, I can't remember his name, it's a brother that put the motherfucking machine to work and these white boys said, damn, I gotta get that sound. But see, when the TV 303 was out, it was only about 300, 395, $395. Okay, it came out in 1982. This was before crack rock really flourished and niggas was, was dealing it, okay? Ain't nobody had $395. $395 back then is probably about, that's, that's a lot of money back then because there wasn't really that much inflation, okay? That was rent for most people, you know, for most black folks. And if your pockets ain't deep like that to spend $400 fucking dollars on a goddamn instrument, electronic instrument, that emulate a guitar, shit, you might as well put, put that money down on the guitar. And that's what people were doing. The white folks, the ones that had the deep pockets, they snatched it up, didn't really know how to program it, didn't find a use for it, and they went back to their fucking guitars. It went, they, they, the pawn, go to the pawn shops, they, a lot of them ended up at the pawn shops. Niggas like us, on a budget, get it for 100, 150, take it home, program the shit, bam, there it is. And that's exactly what the fuck happened. Because white folks was not interested in the goddamn TV 303 until a nigga programmed it and they heard that sound and they wanted it. They had to have it. Guess how much it is right now? It's over $1,000 like, right now. That's a regular TV 303. We ain't even talking about the Devilfish TV 303. You spend about two or three grand for that motherfucker. So like I said, we influence a whole lot. That's what royalty is. You take something and make it good. Or you build something from nothing. And guess what? The white man ain't give a shit after slavery was over. Whatever we got, we fucking earned it. We scraped and earned that shit. That's what royalty is. Not a fucking title. Not some white motherfuckers uh, that's got deep pockets and, and uh, being praised by other white folks and all of that shit. The real power is with the black folks, the black man, and it will always be that way. Always. Royalty. Royalty. Give you another example of royalty. All these white girls, they're running after the brothers. Hmm? Why, why is that? Why do these white boys, these young white boys, calling each other nigger? Could you imagine doing a civil rights era? Some uh, white folks uh, believing that their grandkids and great-grandkids 
would be calling themselves niggas. A lot of them probably rolling their damn grave right now with how they kids then turned out and grandkids. That's what royalty is. We at our fucking worst and you still got a whole generation of white kids that want to be like us. Want to be. But can't, will never be. Never. Never. That's what royalty is. I don't know any culture or any group of people that want to be like them white motherfuckers in, in England. The royal family. Fuck them. They are not shit. They only get praised for the the fucking money, the the money that they have, and the status amongst their own kind. We get praises from all kind. Praises from all kind. Let me give you an example, nigga. How many do you know of any other nationality, black folks? Do you know of any other? That have had not only white women, but every other women on the earth. You look in the motherfucking United States military and see that shit. Niggas got Japanese women, Chinese, Turkish, you name it. You name it. The number, to keep it fucking real, the number one sought out dick on the planet is black dick. That's what it is. And you niggas know I ain't lying. Nigga, I ain't lying. Black dick is the most sought out dick in the planet. There's not a white woman that has not fantasized about having some black dick up in her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. And hey, I'll tell you flat out, I don't have my shit on white women. Hell yeah. I love them the fuck alone. Oh yeah, I done had enough white women, and other women also. And I can tell you, in the bedroom, yes, you are the fucking king. We are the king, period. She won't ever give herself to another man like she'll give it to the black man. No other man can make her feel that way. Your essence, which come from the Anunnaki, was known for getting that pussy. That's where you get it from. Oh yeah. Definitely. You can walk in a fucking town where ain't nothing but fucking white folks. The black population is low. And you gonna have your choice of what kind of pussy, what kind of white pussy you want. Because it's gonna be just that easy. She gonna get she had enough black dick, a uh, white dick, it's, it's time for that black dick to go up in her. That's what she want. And she might want a baby that come right along with it also. That's royalty. That's royalty. Because I don't see any other nation on the fucking planet that's trying to enter into the so-called royal family in England. I don't, I don't, I've, I've, I've never seen or heard of anything like that. When it comes to the black man, he is the, he is the shit. He is the motherfucker that rules the earth. That's supposed to rule the earth anyway. He rules it underground. Rap music. And other things like that. He rules, dominate the motherfucking sports industry. Except for hockey. But the majority of the sports, it's the Negro. We've been here the longest. Our bodies are more adapt to this planet than anybody else's. We are the fucking first besides the Anunnaki. We, we laid it down and still laying it down even at our worst. Because if we wouldn't, it wouldn't be a lot of white motherfuckers that want to be like us. Best believe that. Best believe it. You got white, white men, 
that want that black dick too. That just, I'm, like I said, you, you, I'm going to keep it real with you, nigga. And you know what I'm talking about. There's white motherfuckers that want black dick in them. Okay? He want black dick so much, he'll offer up his fucking wife. Say, here, take her. I know, I know you don't want me, but you can take her. I want to see you, see you fuck her. You think I'm bullshitting? You Google Kuko. C-U-C-K-O-L-D. That's a trend for the white man to offer up his fucking wife to the black man. Like a fucking sissy, a bitch. Okay? That's royalty. I'm off of that right now. But you know what? Fuck that. These, these white boys get too much credit. Even in history. Give you an example. Alexander the Great. Which I call Alexander the Snake. He liked both men and women. But he preferred Men, okay? You a, 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 a warrior, you ain't supposed to be with no man. If you a warrior, you get your motherfucking heart stolen and cry like a bitch, you ain't no warrior. Now this motherfucker done killed all kinds of people and shit. Some thieves steal his goddamn heart he is crying like a bitch and begging for pay a ransom to get his horse back. Ain't nothing like the black man. Of course, the black man can be better. He, he's at his worst. We at our worst. But there's nothing like the black man on this planet. Nothing whatsoever. The white man, he does not have the characteristics of the black man. He wants to be black. He wants to be black so much he fucking hate black. Can't stand it. He know that he know he can never have capture the essence of the black man no matter how hard he tried no matter he know his woman he can't give his woman that 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 essence he can never fuck his woman like a black man he can never make her feel the way a black man can make her feel. Yeah. That's royalty, like I said. That's power. That's power. Because best believe, you can take the most powerful white man that have a position of power. His woman is probably not happy with his ass. But she stick around with it. Because it's money, because it's power. But when she wants some good sex, the black man is gonna be up on the table as an option. Let's believe that. And a lot of these motherfuckers that's in power, these white folks, these white men, they like black dick themselves. That's the, that's the, that's real, all right? The fucking uh, Rudolph Giuliani, the mayor, what was the mayor of New York, one of the biggest cities in the United States. What the fuck? If I'm the mayor, I'm going to be trying to get as much pussy as I can. I ain't going to be trying to fuck with no man. Uh-uh. It, it's just not going to happen. I wake up in the middle of the fucking night. I tell my aide, my assistant, look, my dick hard 
I need me some pussy. I need y'all to find me some pussy. I don't care. Look, send a chop out. Go pick this bitch up. Pay her a couple grand to keep her mouth shut. I, I want I want some pussy. I want, and make sure she clean. Because I want a nut up in her also. Make sure she on <laughs> Make sure she on birth control. But yes, I, I got to get that. I'm trying to fuck with no man. Putting on a goddamn dress and shit and lipstick. What kind of shit is that? I mean, really. That's that's insane. That's insane. Because if I had that kind of power, like I said, pussy, oh, yes indeed. Look, pussy galore. Pussy galore. I would have been I would have been getting it. That's us. If we we on pass up, I'm talking about straight niggas like me. Not all black men straight, of course, that, you know. But I mean, shit, the average black man, he's fucking straight. If you want some pussy. We fucking try to do things. We go out our way to get some pussy. We alive for some fucking pussy. We pull up money, jewelry, cars. That's because of the pussy. Gay men don't care about that kind of shit. Gay men care about dick. That's what they care about. We care about pussy, so we gonna put ourselves in a position to get some motherfucking pussy. Rural Giuliani, a straight up faggot dressing like a woman and shit. You know that like I said, that's that's that is that's far out. It, it makes Makes him as a joke. A man of power got access to a lot of things in the city. Got resources. And want to fuck with a man. Mm -mm. No. You know, a lot of faggots rule the fucking world too. In the banking system and, and, and the politicians and all that. Fucking faggots. Okay? That's... That's, that's crazy. That lets you know what kind of crazy world we live in. You know, Rudolph go to a motherfucking uh, party, you know, go to one of the, you know, they like, them faggots like to get together and shit. Parties and shit. Whether if it's a formidable party or what. I want to be in no party. I want to be, I want to be, if I'm going to be at a party, it's going to be at a, a party with, with some girls. Run around the damn pool or in the in the uh, bikini or some shit like that, a beach or something. Rudolph go to a motherfucking party and get his ass blown out, okay? Fucking orgies and shit. Oh yeah, check this out, my nigga. And one foggy Christmas Eve, a faggot came to say, Rudolph, with your ass so high, how many dicks you suck tonight? And all the faggots fucked him, and he shouted out weakly, Rudolph the faggot, Rudolph, biggest fag in history. You know what, I'm off this motherfucker. I'm off of it. Because that shit pisses me off when I think about it. Us brothers dream about having that kind of fucking power and getting that kind of pussy. You have that kind of power, pussy, I mean, shit. I'm fucking about 10 different chicks a day. That's a black man's dream. Most of, most of us anyway. Lord have mercy. But anyway, we are the originals. We are the motherfuckers that's most influential on the planet. Okay, and now you niggas need to be proud of that because you don't understand most cultures, they real, a lot of them are lame. I ain't gonna say lame, but they don't have the flavor like we do. 
They don't have that swag like we do. And that's something to be proud of. Not feel bad about it, because some people don't understand it or whatever. Nah, you, you black, be proud to be black. It's honorable to be black. You see what I have on? It's fucking black. When you look up in the sky at night, it is fucking black. What's the I was up like? The mo one of the most powerful things that you can come across when you're in space is a fucking black hole. And you don't even know that it's there until it's swallowing light. The light you see coming from a black hole, that's the light that's being devoured by that black hole. The darkness. A lot of things take place in the darkness. Plants, a lot of plants grow in the darkness, not necessarily in the light. Black. Be fucking proud to be black. And what I mean, what I do mean by black, I do mean black and brown. Okay? But black. Because black has a very significance. In, in this realm that we live in. This, here we go again, three-dimensional realm. So you look up in the sky, you see black. The ground of the earth is brown. Even in cartoons, Spider-Man, Venom is black. Venom, my Spider-Man become more powerful when that Venom, that Venom get on his ass, okay? Which is technically melanin. A dark matter. That's why you niggas need to read. Don't let nobody tell you you ain't shit. You are. Nobody telling you you ain't shit. Means that they jealous of your black ass. Spider Man, Venom. Okay, Batman went from being, uh, 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 being in a blue suit, blue and gray suit, to just being all black. They changed that shit back in '89. You look at the old episodes of Batman. The suit was blue and gray. We talking about the old Batman, Adam West. Wasn't until 1989 they changed the suit. All black. The Batmobile, all black. You need, you, you need to pay attention to that. You need to pay attention to that. I remember when computers only came as white. A white monitor and a white uh, CPU. Majority of them are black now. Laptops too. You pay attention to color. Pay attention to color. What color is the TR-808, nigga? What? Is is black? Is black? Wasn't it black folks that made the TR-808 what it is? A am I right about it? You motherfucking right. Just like the white folks made the TR-909 what it is with techno. And what color is the TR-909? It's white. So I say pay attention to color. Pay attention. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, brothers, because I got a lot of shit I need to do. I'm going to try to end it anyway. I'm thinking of some shit right now, 
that I probably haven't covered, that I said I was going to cover, just, just didn't because I got caught up in the fucking moment. But I will be making more videos, okay? As well as possibly discussing different cryptocurrencies. I want to say something also, speaking of the cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin and shit. I was going to give away some, um, some coins called Next Coins or NXT. I had about 2100, over, over 2000. I think I announced uh, in one of my posts that I was going to possibly be giving away some only to find my fucking wallet had been hacked. When I already probably stated that I was going to be getting my shit was gone automatically. Somebody went in my shit and stole it. It wasn't nothing about, at that time, it was $178 worth. Which I had already, you know, made that in Bitcoin. I, I you know, I mined Bitcoin and traded it uh, for some next coins. So it wasn't really money out of my pocket. I didn't really lose because I ain't have to, you know, the, the money generated itself, you know. But um, I want to, if, if it was any motherfucker that, that's on here that did it, I want to say fuck you, okay. And, um. Uh, if I catch your ass, that money you gonna be using for your for your medical bills. <laughs> Plain and simple. It was a lesson learned to me because I was careless. Okay, usually I don't even keep digital currencies on my computer like talking about. I, I put them away on, at, uh, on a on on a separate drive. I don't even keep them online like talking about. If I do, I keep very little. I put them in cold storage. But anyway, um, there's I have a lot of other coins. There's so many other like over a hundred different cryptocurrencies. And um, shit, I've got so many of them. Some of them are worth a few pennies. Some of them are worth a couple of dollars. Right now, the market, as I speak, is bare ass right now because it, you know this whole thing with. Uh, the white motherfucker, uh, Charlie uh, Charm, the, the scandal and all that. Bitcoin and got uh, a bad name right now. But it ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere right now because shit, uh, what Bass Stearns did and, 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 uh, and, and uh, Goldman Sachs and shit like that. Was about, it, ain't done, it ain't done shit to the dollar. The dollar's still here. Bitcoin gonna still be here. But um, right now, Things ain't looking so hot right now, you know, as far as uh, turning a profit, making some, making some money or whatever. It's just down right now, it's, you know. The market's up, the market's down. But um, I have coins that I'm probably be giving away. I don't want to be giving away shit that ain't worth shit. But whatever I give away, it's gonna be worth something. It's gonna be worth maybe a little, maybe a lot. But possibly worth more in the future. Some uh, proof of proof of stake uh, mean that you earn interest off of it. Uh, just let it sit. You earn interest. That you know what? That's why I was doing with the whole fucking next coin. That shit was written in um, a programming language called Java, which is uh, known for vulnerability vulnerabilities, okay, and um, I just didn't think, you know, like I said, I was careless, and I, I didn't, uh, I didn't secure my computer the way I should have, you know, but it was a lesson learned, um, I'll probably be giving away some of those coins to you brothers, and what you can do, I mean, you can hit the exchange, you don't need no paperwork or nothing to fuck with the exchange, it's all anonymous, basically. You know, I already explained that. You want to do an exchange or something like that for some Bitcoin, you can do just that. Um, you can go to Cripsy or uh, an exchange like that. Cripsy is the Cripsy, Cripsy, Cripsy.com is the hottest right now. Okay, because they carry so many different um, currencies and all of that, and they scream. 
occurrences. It ain't like, you know, somebody, the developer can just um, come up with some shit and say, hey, I got a coin, it could be a fucking scam coin or some shit like that. Get on ex exchange and you fucked out of your money, you know? Nah, they do, they do a little checking or whatever. But I say stick with what, what's been around the longest. Uh, with coins, you know, right now at least, just stick with Litecoin, stick with Bitcoin, stick with Peercoin. Uh, and I want to say fuck the rest right now. Because like I say, the market is bad ass right now. And you got a lot of motherfucking people scamming and shit. I mean, it's crazy. The Chinese, uh, them motherfuckers running rampant. Doing uh, what's known as pumps and dumps and shit. You know, I, I ain't gonna lie to you, I made some money off the pump and dump. Okay, and what it is, is they pump up a coin by buying it, by throwing a lot of Bitcoin at it, okay? And uh, raise the price, they buy it back, then they dump it again, okay? And leave, you know, the, the average person not knowing what's going on, leave them as the bag holder when they ain't made off with a lot of money. Okay, that seems to be the thing right now. These pump and dumps. Now I did it with Spain coin, uh, um, a, a cryptocurrency called Spain coin, which is supposed to be issued to the people of Spain. But um, shit, ain't. I I got I saw the price rise and I got in on it at about a dollar. And uh. I got out at 284. So I made a little shit. I made some money to go back and buy some more Bitcoin, put it in some other shit, you know, and that's 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 it, you know. But um, you gotta know what the fuck you're doing when you're doing it. It ain't it ain't for amateurs. It ain't for people that don't know what the fuck they're doing. I say just stay out of it unless you know somebody. You know a motherfucker like me. That's been that's been around on the internet and know how shit go, you know, what to look out for and all of that. I say don't take the risk. That's just my opinion. Don't take the risk. If you do, don't expect to lose. If you gain, that's good, but expect to lose if you go in it like that. It's something that you just don't go in heads up. You can't trust no fucking body on the internet. Uh, when you're dealing with these cryptocurrencies, you know, because it's crazy. There's, there ain't like you can, uh, got some kind of protection or anything like that. Because more than likely, when you're dealing with cryptocurrencies, you're dealing with a group of people. Me, I don't, I'm, on, I'm, I'm only single. It's just me. You know, I don't have a group or anything like that. Like that. Uh, Throwing Bitcoin at one coin, the pumping and dumping and all that. You got motherfucking Chinese in there that's, that's going crazy with that shit. Okay, it's it's, it's crazy. Um, but anyway, the, with, with the whole cryptocurrency, it's hot. It's going to be hot. But if you get in, go with... Um, the one that has the... Not necessarily... The highest market cap but go with the one that's being traded the most within the 24-hour time frame you can go to a website called um, cryptocurrency market watch or some shit like that and it pulls up a list of cryptocurrencies uh, the status and you know how much is being traded and how much is each coin worth and all of that and you roll with that and like I said, if you don't know what the hell you're doing, stay out of it. Stay out of it. Uh, go, go with Bitcoin. And that's it. If you, then Bitcoin is high right now. Still high. Right at about $600. And a lot of people don't got, they got you ain't got to buy a whole coin. You can buy a fraction of the coin. Which is known as Satoshi. You ain't necessarily got to do that. You throw, you throw, buy five dollars worth of bitcoin ten dollars twenty whatever or you just don't want to buy a whole damn coin you pay the full amount but um i say just just stick with that uh like coin or a, a peer coin but go with bitcoin first and foremost because 
that's the hottest right now. And it's going to be even hotter in the near future. Um, shit. Um, I think that's pretty much it, brothers. You know, like I said, I'm pressed for time and shit, you know. Um, I will be getting around to making some more videos. Um, another thing, I'm dating this chick. She's a school teacher, nigga. So I gotta, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get in there with her. You know, she's a nice chick, but she kind of shady and shit or whatever. You know, I'm so I'm working on trying to get in that ass, you know, and get in it good. And that's that's another thing I'm doing. I'm spending a lot of time with her and shit, you know, see what she talking about. But other than that, I'm still going to be making videos and shit and doing what I do. You know, if you figure that out. But anyway, the videos will be coming. I will be watching other videos and stuff like that. Um... In the in in the conscious black conscious community and all of that, and hopefully you know it, things are changing because everything's fucked up with that you know with the, with the whole um, with the whole what am I looking for God damn it the whole theology the whole um, everything's messed up you know and uh, the whole doctrine that's what I meant to say. It's it's flawed. It's a it's totally flawed because you have a lot of niggas that too proud to say I'm wrong. I was wrong about this. I'm gonna go with the facts. This right here because this make more sense. Anyway, I'm pressed for time. I gotta get off. I see this light blinking, brothers. Um. I will be making another, another other videos. Y'all take care. Take care of each other. Ultra Star 33, I'm out.